Hi, and welcome to the Alma What's New video. We're going to be talking about the call number mapping to holdings record functionality, which has been enhanced in the August 2014 release of Alma. You, remain, you may remember that previously, Alma allows you to update the call number in the holdings record on the basis of information contained in the bibliographic record when we're working with the holdings number under the tools menu of mark 21 holdings we have a link for update from bibliographic that will update the 852 the call number field in the holdings record on the basis of information contained in the bibliographic record previously this was hard coded such that if the first indicator of the 852 in the holdings was zero, which is to say the Library of Congress call number type. The call number in the holdings would be updated on the basis of the 090 in the bib record, and if there was no 090, then on the basis of the 050. If the uh, first indicator in the call number of the holdings record was one, for example, the Dewey Decimal System, then the call number would be updated on the basis of the 082 in the bibliographic record and so on. This was hard-coded. The new development in the August release is that this can now be customized under the resource management configuration menu. We have a new link in the general sub-menu called call number mapping. This table allows you to customize which bibliographic fields and subfields will be used to update the call number in the holdings record. So if, for example, we're talking about a, hold, a call number of type 1, in this case Dewey Decimal, Alma will look at this table and look for the first row that contains a 1 in the 852 first indicator column. We'll check the 852 subfield 2. It will see if the record has a subfield 2. In this case, we're indicating that the subfield 2 is null, that there is no subfield 2 in the call number in the holdings record. And if these criteria fit, then Alma will attempt to update the call number in the holdings record on the basis of the 963 from the bibliographic record. The question marks here indicate wild cards for the first two indicators, meaning that the indicators can be of any value. If there is a 963 in the bibliographic field, Alma will take subfield K from the 963 and enter it into the 852 subfield K in the holdings record. It will take subfield H from the 963 in the bib and place that, copy that into the 852H of the holdings record, and so on and so forth. Again, this is on condition that the first indicator of the 852 in the holdings is 1, and that subfield 2 is null. If these criteria do not fit, Alma will go on to the next row. As we see here, these are the same criteria. If the criteria fit in the first row, however, there is no 963 in the bib record, Alma will stop at this row and check again and see that the criteria fit and look in the bib for a 098. If the 098 exists in the bib, then Alma will copy the subfield A to the 852H in the holdings record, subfield B to the 852I in the holdings record, and so on and so forth. If the first indicator of the 852 in the holdings field is not one, but rather it's zero, Alma will skip these first two rows and go immediately to the third row. Again, it will check the subfield 2. If the subfield 2 is null in this case, as we've configured it here, Alma will check the bib for a 090. And if that exists in the bib, it will copy subfield A to the 852H in the holdings and subfield B to the 852I in the holdings record, and so on and so forth. Alma will read each row sequentially, starting from the top, and as soon as it finds a row in which all of these conditions are met, namely the 852 first indicator, the 852 subfield 2, and the existence of this tag in the bib record, as soon as those three conditions are met, Alma will take the information from the bib 
and copy it from these subfields into the holdings records in the 852 in the subfields indicated here. As soon as Alma finds a row which is applicable, it will stop checking the rest of the rows in the table. It will search from top to bottom until it finds a row that fits and then apply that row and stop searching. You can change the order of the rows using the up and down buttons. You can also disable any of the rows by selecting the yellow check mark. You'll see now that it's disabled. I'm going to simply skip that row when reading the table. You can delete rows. You can add additional rows down here at the bottom. Make sure that once you've made any changes to the table, changing the order or changing the rows, uh, deleting or adding new rows, make sure that you add, uh, click on the Save button to save the changes to the table. So that's the new development in Alma for call number mapping to holdings numbers. Thank you very much.